While Elon Musk deals with the trickle-down impact of tariffs on his business, it looks like he is working behind the scenes to try to gain more influence over public policy, spending millions to boost GOP campaigns. Emily Wilkins has more. Hey, Brian. Well, yeah, Elon Musk, he created a political action committee earlier this year that has given tens of millions to Trump. But in the last month, Musk PACs, it's called the America PAC, also started giving to House Republicans in competitive races. At least 5.1 million so far to 15 House races across the country. And that's according to CNBC's review of public filings. Now, these funds come as House Republicans. Their campaign arm is lagging behind their Democratic counterparts in fundraising. The House, of course, is a toss-up. Either party has a shot of winning, and, of course, the funding's going to make a difference here. Now, public filings show that we've got the Winklevoss twins and Palantir's Joe Lonsdale that have donated to the Super PAC, but it is not clear exactly how much of Musk's own money has gone into the PAC, although he has posted on X that he plans to make some donations. A spokesman for the America PAC declined to comment further, but we've got new reports now out yesterday from the Wall Street Journal and Reuters that find that Musk quietly poured tens of millions into Republican campaigns since 2022. Now, that includes a $10 million donation to DeSantis's presidential campaign, plus $50 million to a group with ties to former Trump aide Stephen Miller. Now, Musk reportedly donated through dark money groups that do not have to disclose their donors. But we will expect to get more clarity on which races Musk's America PAC is supporting later this month when the next round of filings are due. Guys? Yeah, I would imagine, Emily, without getting into it, if you remember, you know, but uh, if you remember President Trump, you know, okay, he was talking about how if all we, we get flooded with cheap Chinese-made electric cars, it's going to be a bloodbath for the U.S. economy. That, that, that word, unfortunately, got taken in different directions. I don't want to go there. But if you're Elon Musk, your biggest existential threat is BYD and all these Chinese companies coming in and trying to sell $20,000, $25,000 electric cars to the masses. I got to imagine if you can spend to block that, then that wouldn't be the, the dumbest thing to do. I mean, EVs are definitely going to be on the table next Congress, regardless of, I think, which party holds it. I think both Democrats and Republicans have concerns, but Republicans have said they'll reduce regulations. Typically, that is better for businesses, and I think you're really seeing Musk respond to that, or at least that's what we've heard from him in some of the interviews that he's done around this topic. Emily, thank you. We appreciate your time. Emily Wilkins in Washington.